Speaking of California wines, you know, we're both big fans of it. We're both mm -hmm. big fans of wine. Um, what are some of your favorite wineries right now? You know, I love the local winery. Um, the, the founder and the winemaker recently passed away, but it's Sean Thackeray out of uh, Murray County. Um, that's just my everyday, like, food pairing wine. It goes well with just about anything from, like, pasta to roasted chicken. It's so versatile. And then um, another winery that we both love and we go quite often, but it's, it is on the more expensive side, is Donum Estates. Yes. Um, the whole tasting experience there is not just wine, it's just the environment, the art collection, um, just the walk, the weather. I think that's, that winery is the epitome of what high-end California wine could be and then what the tasting room experience can be. Agree, agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's one of my favorites as well. Mm. We, have, we have been there together a few times. times. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we have, yes. We like to enjoy, mm. enjoy that quite a bit. Let's talk um, pet peeves. So you've been working in the wine industry for a long time. You have done everything from like private wine buying. You worked at the French Laundry at one point. You, you know, you worked in Vegas at some really high end establishments. Like you have kind of, you've seen it all. You have experienced it all. You've worked through it all. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, you know, like everything you've seen over those years, like what is it that drives you crazy? Oh, I know when people are scared of sulfite ah! like, like, <laughs> all these like natural organic wine fads that come and go it is a fad drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah yeah um, um i'm not against natural wine no we're not at a, all not we're not at all time and place for natural wine which if it was made locally and yes. it was consumed locally i think it's one of the most amazing things. Agree. Um, a lot of the Beaujolais is made in this in yeah. style. There are a lot of natural wineries in Europe, but they're not meant to be transported they're not. two, three thousand miles across they're not. the ocean. Yeah, yeah. They're not. At that point, they just become a very expensive kombucha. You know what I mean? They do. <laughs> they absolutely do. Yeah. Um, I yeah. agree. Yeah. I've had some really wonderful experiences with yeah. natural wines in like in Majorca. Yeah, like local. You know? Yeah, it was local. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was I was eating local food mm -hmm. and I was drinking the local wine and it was mm -hmm. perfect. But I agree. Like they're not meant to be shipped. I think I can put this in Korean terms. It's mm. almost like in kimchi, there's, there's something called kachori. Mm. It's like a very fresh kimchi that you just needs to be consumed that day or day after. I think natural wine is almost like that concept. Yeah. It's made locally and then just consumed on the spot. I think it's just, it's a beautiful thing. But exactly. They're exactly. trying to <laughs> transport it. <laughs> It's difficult. It's I think, yeah. I know we both have definitely yeah. had experiences where mm -hmm. we have opened a bottle of natural wine that has mm -hmm. been shipped a very long yeah. way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the consistency does not remain the same. You know, when you open it, that's one thing for a, a bottle of wine to open up and develop like, yeah, over it was time. A very expensive kombucha. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But when there's such a drastic change in a short time span yeah. of like 15 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, there's a, there's a little bit of an yeah. issue there. I know of another pet peeve that you have because we also share this as well. We're very similar, obviously. This is why we're such good friends. Cork. Uh, yeah. 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 You don't need to smell the cork. Yeah, you don't. You <laughs> just, don't need to smell the cork. It's actually more accurate if you just smell, just take a whiff from the wine bottle itself rather than the cork. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, you don't see it as much in most fine dining mm -hmm. establishments in like Europe here, and the US yeah, and everything, yeah. but yeah, but I still see it sometimes yeah. and I know it's not hurting anyone. I guess it's just a part of the show sometimes. It is, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. dinner in the show, but sometimes but, I'm just kind of like, it's not yeah. telling you We're anything. Right now. We are, but, we are. But, but if you really want to know if the wine is corked, it's more accurate to just smell right out of the bottle. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Absolutely. Yeah. It is. You're going to get that like wet yeah. cardboard yeah. smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, you obviously know Korean food quite well. Yeah. So I'm really curious, what are some of your favorite Korean dishes? Oh, there's so many. Um, I know. Pudechige is one of yes. them. Yes. <laughs> That's one of our favorites together. <laughs> um, oh man, tteokbokki. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Yeah. 
Those are also good. Yeah. So I'm curious, like, what would you, what wine would you drink with those? You know, with a lot of the spicy Korean food, I, I feel like Alsatian wines would go really well, especially Kibble Strammeter would be my go-to for spicy yeah, food. Agree. Yeah, agree. Mm -hmm. Or agree. Like, like maybe um, a dry Riesling. Dry, like a cabinet, maybe cabinet. Oh, like yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agree, agree, mm -hmm. agree. And what about Doboki? Same. Strammeter. Gilbert's yeah. demeanor. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, those yeah. are good. So <clears throat> we've come to the end of our quick little interview. I always ask the same final questions about Korean food and wine. And then my last question is, what's your go-to norebang song? Don't speak, no doubt. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good one. So we will do that next time you visit me in Korea. Right. Okay. Um, we unfortunately, Jane, Jane actually came to Korea and, and visited me last year and we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of good food and a lot of good wine, but we did not make a Noribang date. So we will do that in the we future. We can do it here. That's true. Noribang is everywhere. Noribang is always in your heart, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's one in San Francisco. There are. There are. Oh, well, thank you so much, Jane, for sharing, you know, what fun. it's like to you know to be a private wine buyer and um you know a glimpse into your life and what you think we appreciate it john cheers <laughs>